Imagine for a moment, you just opened your Parent PLUS loan bill. Your hands tremble as you read the amount they expect you to pay. It's more than your car note, more than your mortgage. Hell, it may be even more than your paycheck. You look at that number and the walls, they begin closing in. You feel trapped. You don't know what to do. So you call your servicer. You explain your situation, all of your bills, what's happening in your life. Their response, they're like that scene in Goodfellas. Oh, your cost of living is high? F pay me. Your husband has stage four cancer? F pay me. You haven't saved enough for retirement and you're worried about how you're gonna pay your bills? F pay me. In a desperate search for answers, you log on to studentaid.gov, hopeful the loan simulator might offer a lifeline. But the amounts it gives you? I mean, how do they even expect you to live? Your heart sinks. The thought of losing your house, your savings, and even your retirement becomes a pounding rhythm in your mind. You're lost. You feel like there's no way out. Now, what if I told you there is a way out? A way that can cut your payments by more than half and stop the interest from growing on your loans. The double consolidation loophole. Listen closely. This hidden opportunity, it isn't something your servicer or the education department will tell you about. It's something that not many lawyers know about, but it works. I've seen it take my clients' payments from over $5,000 a month down to $500 a month. Now this sounds great, right? But here's the catch. This loophole, it's ending. The education department found out about it and announced it was slamming the door shut on this opportunity. But don't worry, there's still time for you to use this strategy to give you the relief you need. Let me show you how. Let's talk about my client, Kathleen. She retired during the pandemic and now relies on a modest pension in Social Security. She recently received a bill from Nelnet telling her she owes $3,400 in a few weeks. Now, there was no way she could afford that. Kathleen took out these loans to help her daughter, Maya, through college. They had an agreement. Maya would help with the payments. But then as it always does, life happened. The cost of living skyrocketed, and despite her best efforts, Maya simply can't keep up. So here they are, Kathleen and Maya, two generations doing their best, yet the system is failing them. It's not just unfair, it is cruel. Look, it's clear the system is stacked against us all. It's frustrating, it's unfair, but here's the thing, I'm not powerless. Sure, you could sit there and curse out the president and Sally Mae and Navient for sticking you in this situation, or you can take action to turn the tables. For those of you who are pissed off, who feel like you've been screwed over time and time again, this is your chance to fight back to exploit a flaw in the system that they'd rather you not know about. And for those of you who just want a fair shot, who want to pay what you can actually afford, this is your way out. Your services aren't giving you options, but that doesn't mean options don't exist. Remember that double consolidation loophole for Parent PLUS loans I mentioned earlier? The one that can slash your payments and even set you on a path to loan forgiveness? The one that few student loan advisors know about? Let's let you in on the secret. The double consolidation loophole allows you, as someone who borrowed Parent PLUS loans, to tap into more affordable repayment options like Biden's new save plan. So how does it work? You'll look at all of your federal loans and break them up into two groups, Group A and Group B. You'll consolidate some loans with Nelnet and others with Advantage. You'll wait a few weeks and then consolidate those loans again with Nelnet, Advantage, Ed Financial, or Mohila. Look, it really doesn't matter. I don't care if you started off with Nelnet or started off with Advantage. When you do that final consolidation round, you can choose whoever you want. Now, this process, it effectively sidesteps a rule that blocks parents from better repayment options. It isn't as simple as logging into studentaid.gov and clicking a few buttons. It involves some legwork. You'll use paper applications to decide which loans go where, and you'll send those paper applications to different servicers. On top of that, there are also a bunch of micro decisions involved. But the payoff? It's big. As for whether or not it's legal, I assure you it is. But it's a gray area. The government didn't intend for parents to use these more affordable options, or else they wouldn't make you jump through these hoops to get into save. But they left the door open and told you they were leaving it open until July 1st, 2025. So from that perspective, you're doing what many consider to be a very American thing, playing by the rules to get what you need. Here's what's clear. The double consolidation loophole works. Remember how we talked about feeling trapped, lost, and like there's no way out? the sleepless nights, the strained relationships, and the fear of losing everything. Kathleen, my client, she was there, 
just like many of you. But now, she's living proof that there is a way out. Kathleen used this strategy just last month. She saw her monthly payment plummet for $3,400 down to $400. And the best part, she did it all in just a few weeks. Now, instead of worrying about the government seizing her pension and social security monies, she has an affordable, predictable monthly payment. A payment that not only comes with a built-in interest waiver that stops her balance from growing, but it also leads to loan forgiveness down the line. All right, so let's go ahead and put this strategy into perspective. Kathleen didn't just lower her monthly payments. She set herself on a path to substantial long-term savings. In just one year, she'll save over $36,000 compared to her original payment plan. And over five years, that number jumps to an astounding $180,000. And here's the kicker, after 25 years, her remaining loan balance is gonna be completely forgiven. And by then she'll have saved hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now tell me that's not a game changer. The only thing that would be better is if Biden walked up to the podium and announced he was wiping out her debt tomorrow. But that ain't never happening. Come on, this is still America. We ain't never truly helping out the people like we helped out the banks back in 2008. Look, if you're eager to dive deeper into the double consolidation process, we've got another video in the works that'll break it all down and answer your FAQs as well. For now, watch this video about how consolidating your loans can turbocharge your path to forgiveness. Think dropping from 25 years down to just five.